Welcome ladies and gentlemen. This time I will talk about setting up water cooling jacket. My name is Zoran Junic, I'm analysis engineer and I'm mainly involved in FireM GUI development and validation. Before starting with online demo, I would like to describe basic elements in setup process. In first place meaning of element tree and properties pane as well as 3D viewer and topology editor. Element tree pane is divided into two parts, the tree itself and properties pane. Tree show all elements necessary to set up the case and properties pane serve for detailed description of each element that is part of the tree. In tree we can create new domains, boundary conditions and domain interfaces. This can be done from context menu by add command. Topology viewer is a new feature obtained as part of the framework. Primary it is used for manipulation with building blocks of the model. It shows the relations between separate blocks and it can be used for global navigation through the model. Components can be added to the model by drag and drop operation from components pane or from context menu in element tree. Connections between blocks can be made by mouse or in domain interface property pane. Basic element of the model is domain. We define domain as part of the model with common physics. In present setup we have two domains, one for cylinder head and one for water cooling jacket. Space that one domain occupy is determined by cell selection in mesh. Domains interact with each other over domain interfaces. Domains are used for definition of material, physical settings, numerical settings, and output settings. Materials are stored in so-called property database. In FireM installation we offer predefined set of materials which can be selected from drop-down box. It is possible to filter materials by aggregate state. It is also possible to add user-defined material. New feature of boundary conditions is to reuse boundary condition in multiple places under condition that physics of domain is the same. We support parameters in boundary conditions. It is possible to display variable boundary condition in form of a graph or a table. New feature is also existence of default boundary condition that is applied on all faces of domain that are not covered with selection-based boundary conditions. And finally, as already mentioned, in multi-domain calculation domains are connected with interfaces. One interface can connect exactly two domains and in order to set it up properly one has to specify two connected domains together with corresponding selections. It is also possible to specify the type of interface. Now we will start with online demo. Domains are stored in domains container. First step in setup process is definition of the mesh. In case that mesh is already generated in interactive meshing process, it will appear in drop-down box or it can be loaded directly like I am doing right now. In order to speed up the loading process, we initially hide the mesh and transparent model is shown by pressing visibility checkbox. We can briefly inspect what is in our mesh. Selection 2 is water cooling jacket, selection 1 is cylinder head. We can identify intake and exhaust port.
Next step in setup is specification of cell selections for domain. We will use selection 2 to define water cooling jacket. We can rename it to more descriptive name. Now we will add second domain, specify correct selection and rename it to cylinder head. In this presentation I will set up only two domains just to speed up the process and because adding more domain domains is straightforward. Before we continue let me explain purpose of the link icon. Certain data is shared between the domains due to various reasons. For instance, run mode represents the advancement of calculation in time and for this reason all domains share the same time information. Maximum and minimum number of iterations was moved from convergence control to run mode. Now we will select domain material for water cooling jacket. Let's limit aggregate state to liquids and select water. For cylinder head we will use aluminium. When solid material is selected we display in equation control only equations that are relevant for selected material. So in case of solid material we solve only energy equation while in case of fluid material we solve full set of equations for turbulent flow. Filtering is very useful feature that allow efficient work with multiple domains. If we enter keyword into search field we get highlighted elements that fulfill search criteria and we can limit number of displayed items to matches only. In output element we can define the frequency of the output. We can define separate frequencies for 3D results, 2D results and monitoring points. Selection of a variable that will be written to results file is done in multi-selector window. We can add or remove variables from the list. In order to define our own results we can use formulas. We can add formula, change the name and unit, open formula in editor and load predefined formula from system folder. In 2D results we have more flexibility compared to the classic file because now we can select output variables one by one and not only in predefined groups. Selection based output is also possible over the context menu with new 2D results command. Another enhancement is visualization of pressure reference cell and monitoring points. In the solver control or monitoring points under output we can add or pick points and cells for monitoring. Now we shall proceed to boundary condition definition. Since we have two domains with different physical properties we will need two default boundary conditions. We already have one for water cooling jacket where we have defined adiabatic wall and we will create the second one for cylinder head with the same default value. Next step is definition of boundary conditions. We can add new boundary condition with right mouse button. I will add boundary conditions for inlet and outlet in water cooling jacket and I will specify convective boundary condition for chamber. In definition of boundary condition one has to define in which domain this boundary condition is and the appropriate selection. 
we will first define chamber. We will use convective boundary condition. And in order to define variable var boundary condition, we must switch from constant to table. We can either define curve manually or we can load it from file. To define inlet boundary condition, we select water cooling jacket domain in, and we get the list of relevant selections in chosen domain. Now we have only one boundary condition left. It is outlet in water cooling jacket. In the end, we will rename boundary conditions. We have finished with the definition of boundary conditions and to complete the setup we have only to create domain interface between both domains. We are connecting cylinder head with water cooling jacket. By default domain interfaces have prefix DIF. First selection is part of domain 1 coinciding with domain 2 and vice versa. Now we can proceed to simulation. In our case we can just press run button. In job overview we get list of submitted tasks. We see the status of current task and we can check the details of any task by selection and pressing details button in ribbon or simply by double click on task. Now we can monitor the ongoing simulation. When simulation is finished, one can proceed with analysis of the results in the results tab.